Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience exciting. nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What, what are, you are you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. You mean like illegal books? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that <laughs> is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. All right. Introduce yourself to Amelda and Ominous. It's a little on the nose, but okay. What up, fools? Hi, my name is. You know what? Never mind. What about this? Huh? Hmm. Okie dokie. I bet you there's chests. Let's see if there's any chests around here. Revelio. Well, okay. Hmm, alright, how about this? I'll just stick to the script. Ooh, what's that? Alrighty. Yeah, I'll just skip, I'll just uh, stick to what we're supposed to be doing. For now. I want to try to be as evil as possible. Eh, might want to think that again. What up, girl? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. I'm sorry, babe. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the she looks straight at me the one who that. barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Uh, I wish I had been there. I wish you had been there. Uh, we had it handled. No, I'll give a little, I'll give a little bit. Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Thank you. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what seem you or sorry, you seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Do you fly a lot? I want to know. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the quidditch pitch to clear the mind. I seem to not know a lot about Are Wizard's Chess. Are you a keen Wizard Chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Please. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Alright, I'm gonna set up my uh, streaming gear. I'm just opening up my iPad. That's, that's really it. It's nothing fancy. I call it my streaming gear like I have some secret lab. There we go. Okay. Got that set. And now... Alrighty, and 
then opening up my control panel on my phone. All right, fellas, let's do this. Uh, all right, and what up? So do I get like a posse, like like Harry Potter did? Is this my posse? Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Are you nice blind? to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I think he's blind. Memorable, more like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Do you suspect you'd be in Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Do mermaids often appear outside? I don't give a shit about the mermaids. Were you expecting to be sourced into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. So he's like a Malfoy. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Hmm. Thank you, Venus. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Oh yeah, he's definitely blind. One hundo. new fifth year Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I'm coming. Mm, what up? Am I supposed to go upstairs? Yes. Damn, I have some great stamina. If I, I'm a personal trainer. If I, if I ran upstairs like this, I would be done. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been what up, Ron? Fine. For a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. So why am I a fifth year being admitted into this place? Because, like, isn't that the here last year? <sighs> or is there seven years? I think it's all five. I don't know dick about magic, and uh, I'm supposed to pass my owl. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Okie dokie. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep Why are we walking so slow? Ooh, what is that? Why don't you come? Whoa! To I just went blast off. And see what details the guide can provide. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and. Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported and is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. That's nice. So they're putting a little bit of a like mythology explanation in here. 
You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your, pro your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Noted. Shield guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. Huh. Oh. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from the challenge increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Uh huh. Collecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. I don't know any. I, I, listen, I'm not gonna track any of this until I explore it later. All right. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. What about Inside this? Inside and outside of the castle. You're about to stray too far from the bronze pond. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm coming. God, when I'm walking with Ron Spawn, we're, we are slow. Although, like I said before, this game is pretty. And uh, I do like the architecture. I'm just going to stare at my bald spot in the back of my head until, I'm, <laughs> until we're ready. What are we doing? Right. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use Ooh. blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Whoa. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and include the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Uh-huh. Grand staircase. What am I trying to do? Flu flames locations. So, oh, so I can, uh... Oh, okay. I can fast travel. That's what I was saying. Saying go to this flu flame. In the view, you can set flu flames available in that region. You can see flu flames. Okay, green flu flames represent flames that you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Grateful flames. Okay. Uh huh. Select the library flu flame to continue. All right. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flame for you. Blah blah. blah. Damn, I, found, I finally found a chest, and uh, I'm gonna have to go back and look for all the chests. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Yeah, but. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Rebellion. How do I do the food flame? We were right here, right? Okay, I just want to make sure I know where that chest is later. Alright, so I can look for chests that way too. Through Revelio. Always something happening Noise. here. It's the heart of the hive. The Our whole reason I want to play this game is to find chests. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Thank and you, I'd Professor Ron. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Can you tell me more about the Charms classes? What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? What's Hogsmeade? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. 
Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hecate. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. Ooh, and Ronan. a talented teacher. I'm a Ronin in uh, Ghost of Tsushima. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. Yeah, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. Hmm? You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. Why should you so I chose the dragon's path, Professor? Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep Playing this game is like watching place. a movie. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended I don't mind both it. classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, what up, Professor? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Hmm. Open map. The shield represents a main quest. Complete main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Same quests are, are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to require to where level. Basically, you need, to, you need to buff up to get through those. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or. Okay, so those are the 
diamond with a swirl signal or symbols or a quest reward or as quest rewards okay defense against the dark arts class charms class Let's start that one the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you now, I like how they're explaining like you've quite a day all ahead. the game mechanics through magic. And a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, it's pretty cool. Including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. So now, now I can explore. Quest completed. Welcome to Hogwarts. Cast Charm Compass. Okay. Alright. Let's take a look around. What is this? Hmm. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. Where did you get your dragon my gloves? I saw you. What's she doing? Side quests are now available. Available side quests found in Regent Hogwarts marked ways black flags and discover by exploring the world. Request reward XP and do not advance the main story. Alright. Let's do some side quests. Now, was it too? Oh, these pictures are talking. Gotcha. How in the world? Oh, what what a fool. am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Uh, have you learned anything about it? Are other paintings like this? Are there any here? other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Hmm. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that's Lumos. a mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Huh. Okay. I think. It's right here. This looks like the location from the painting. Uh -huh. What could be so special about it? Uh -huh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Okay, that was easy. My brother. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Lord that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, 
All right. Where's Lenore? There she is. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not telling. <laughs> I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The hmm. moth! I should have seen that! Alright. Spin for good luck. Oh, did I get something off of that? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'm just gonna explore around a little bit and see what let's see what's up. I need to get my bearings. I'm going to be lost in this place for a very long time. I think it's for the best that he's out. Okay. Revelio. Lumos. I was going to try out. Ooh. Spin for good luck. So they got like reg regular pictures in here? Okay. Looking for side quests and chests. Revelio. Aha. How do I get back there? Lumos. Hmm. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Well, there's a chest back there. Not sure how to get to it. Hmm. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. I'll figure it out later. Revelio. You can't Moist. imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Hmm. So this is obviously the Forbidden Library. Revelio. I have a feeling that I'm going to be in there soon. That's in the for okay. That's in the Forbidden Library. Gotcha. What's this? Professor Black. Might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section, 
And Cressida Bloom seems to be thinking, seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider thieves tame by comparison to such antics. Okie dokie. Rebellion. Oh, it's been it for good luck. Okay. What was that blue thing that was in there? I'm sure there will be a lot of stuff later on. I'm going to get out of here. Ooh, there's an upstairs. Revelio. Spinning for good luck. Right, we got a first Hogwarts chest. Ooh. Lumos. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Right now I'm just having fun collecting moths. <laughs> uh, there it is. Nice. So I'm guessing those are important. Rebellion. Really loud to be in the library. If there's a ban on magic, I'm glad I got that done before the ban on magic happened. Oh. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for a liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. Ah, that's funny. Rebellion. It's obviously Dumbledore. All right, I think. Actually, I think there was something over there that I want to look at before I went down. Got my way, McGonagall. Is there fall damage? Huh. Out of the way, Gryffindor. You uptight bastard. Rebellion. Alright, I think that's enough of the library. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've most a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Ooh. All right. 
That was the library. What does this go to? Oh. Oh, yep. Revelio. Solar projection goggles. Okay. I don't know what that means. Revelio. Bell Tower, okay. Lots. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Noise. I think that was the, uh, that might have been the chest that. No, I think that's a different chest. There's so many chests around here. That's my whole goal. It's finding loot. Oh, I almost found another one. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. Looks like the bottom of the staircase. Hmm, I also might be wrong. Top of the staircase? Let me find a big ass window. Big ass window. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest over there. Blue carpet, statue on the left, big ass window with an arc ceiling. Dick in this room. Revelio. Oh, I'll still be stop farting. My dog is sitting here farting right next to me, like not a care in the world. Ooh. There's a blue carpet, and there's a big ass window. Lumos. 
Lumos. Hmm. Revelio. All right, well, I'll find, I'll find that later. Let's go along with the story, I guess. Gosh, they stink. It's a monkey. Oh, no, it's a kitty. All right, let's see what's going on. Adventure, are we? You smell that? It's ugly. Rebellion. She's being weird. Nothing better than a few pints of butter beer and a pile of mince pies with my sisters on Christmas Eve. Some of us don't necessarily oh, want him to get back to the lesson. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. Oh. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Hmm? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It was a boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble mm -hmm. with Professor Flack. Alright, let's get on with the lesson. Rebellion. Seats here. Thank you. Hello, <coughs> I'm Letty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ron? So you are the new student. <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge, right? I like now, this guy's energy. everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference 
between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Hmm. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Accio. Cast Accio on Something one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible button. moment. Now, uh, think of this like uh, gobstones, if you will. Right. But instead of throwing the marbles out, splendid! Stay focused! Oh, okay. Very good! That's it! Don't do it. Happens to the best of us. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. How do I use Echo to summon the balls? Yes. Oh, okay. Get out of the way. Excellent. Here we go. That is how it's done. Oh, that's coming in too hot. Ooh, ball. Not too worried. Watch this. There we go. Ain't no way. Hold on.
Nicely done. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. If I can do it with this one. Line it up. Well, that could have gone better. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Took, took weeks for me to get anything right from transfer here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm holding my own. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer I to teach divination I transferred here. here from Wagadu. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice to meet you. How big is Uganda? Oh, you could do. What does you could do look like? Is magic the same at you? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Hmm. That's incredible. Surely the magic is weaker. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, right. you can use Akio on A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. What I did. Abuser? 
I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in strap. Oh. One often gains oh. the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you.